Stephanie Ayers for TeachVid.com. Pop quiz. I wonder if you know what a Venn diagram is. Is it A, a graphic organizer to help compare things? Is it B, blueprints from aliens about crop circles? Take me to Or is it C, a medieval form of torture? If you answered A, you're right. Let's talk about it. Venn diagram, a way to help us organize things, and they look like this. It's a graphic organizer where a simple one will be two circles that intersect with one another. You'll do this to help you uh, compare things. For example, if I were to ask my students, who likes dogs and who likes cats, I would have some students that like dogs and some students that like cats, and where the two circles intersect, if I have students that like both dogs and cats, they would go in the, in the uh, center. So let's say, you know, we've got uh, Susie that likes dogs and Bill likes dogs and, you know, we've got Pat likes cats and then we've got Jeff, who likes both. And then we've got Daniel, who says, well, I don't like cats or dogs, I like fish. So where would his vote go? His would actually go out here, outside of the two circles that we're comparing things. So this is a very simple way to organize information. It's called a Venn diagram, and this one has two circles. But I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, well, what if I want to compare more than two things? Let me show you. We would take the same idea of the circles, but this time we would intersect all three circles. So let's say up here again, we've got students who like dogs and students who like cats. And let's put fish here this time. And we're going to say, all right, I've got a few students that like just dogs, some that like just fish, and some that like just cats. But I've also got some who like fish and cats. I've got some who like dogs and fish, and some that like cats and dogs. But here in the center, I've got this small little area for anyone who happens to like fish and dogs and cats. And so in that small space in the center where the all three circles intersect, that's where I'm gonna put uh, the people that like those, uh, all three of those together. So this is how we would work it with three different things to compare. Still a Venn diagram. It's a little more complicated because you really have to think about the relationships between the items and then where you would place the people's name uh, or the data that you're collecting within that Venn diagram.